Hello everybody and welcome back to Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. This is our fourth episode. We're pretty much done with this entire screen now. Started with uh, Mario's pad, other than the very first screen with uh, Bowser's Keep, which is going to be the final screen right here. We're going to have to go all the way around the world, all the way around this right side, coming this way. After saving the Mushroom Kingdom in peril, we found out while getting our first star that there's evil afoot. Evil! That we're going to have to save the day once again with Mario, of course. And this is why it is Mario's biggest adventure. So what we're going to have to do is go through Kiro Sewers so we can make it to Tadpole Pond as we meet Mallow's grandfather. And he will help us out in our quest to save the day. So let's go! Let's save the world as we have Mallow with us right here. See him? This is the entrance. Grandpa says to watch out for Balome, whoever that is. Balome is below. It's probably a little dark down there, so keep alert. And he's gonna leave us. You're supposed to be inside of me. So we have to press down to even go in there. So I'm gonna save it right away, cause oh my god, bro, if we die, we have to go all the way back. Oh, shush. But anyway, it's a good spot though, to put that. Um, so secret treasure chests, we're gonna look for those as well. I don't think there's any right around there. But we get to fall in here, and we get to swim. And you can't jump at all. You have to wait until you get to this platform to jump out. So, read directions on how to enter. Sure, why not? I don't know how to enter a pipe ever since Mario 1. So I don't pipe and push down on the control pad. If you are pressing several buttons at the same time, you will not be able to enter. To re-enter a pipe, jump off once and try again. So yeah, if I'm like moving around and stuff, it's not gonna let me go down. There you go. Now we're, now we're going down. So yeah, in order to enter again, we have to jump off to get back on. Very picky stuff. So we're just gonna have to find our way right around here. Make our way downtown. There's a pipe there, and there's a pipe over here. Then there's this stuff right here that we can go through. This is what you don't want, actually, I don't think. Never mind, we can jump back out. Um... I'll say... Let's go here first. Yeah, this seems about right. And then we go down this pipe. There's a boo we could have fought. There's a rat right there. Oh my goodness, get away from me. What's down here? Anything down here? There's a pipe. It takes us right down this way. Come in here. There's a pipe we need to get to, but the water is causing us to not to. So we're gonna fight Gobi, the Gobi fish, you know, because that's a thing. Mallow's still unarmed with his attacks. We still blocked. I'm just gonna not even time that because I know you're dead after that one. So yeah, our little cheap cheeps in the in the water, the sewer water. So that's all this does is just we swim through here. So now it takes us back this way. So we know where that pipe leads us. Let's see where this one takes us now as we explore. So now this takes us up to the top. I want to try to avoid the rats, but you know, we can fight. Yeah, well, we can, he won't. He's sometimes afraid. So Hobgoblin. Go on and see some new fancy enemies here. Should have used Thunderbolt. Yeah, we definitely should have. Ooh, you missed. I'm about to jump on this guy, because he's more full health. He poisoned me. So, see if that gets rid of him. Yep. And hopefully, that's enough. Okay, cool. I'll try Thunderbolt next time. Because, you know, frogs could do that, apparently. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Alright, I'll try to avoid these guys. So, there's that pipe. That's where we were. So let's check this one out. Oh, look at this rat, just sitting there. Let's fight him. Oh, now you want to fight. Uh, How much health you got? Not much. Okay. Once again, I kind of don't. But you know what, we'll jump. Get that base power up. And I'm just going to use Thunderbolt anyways. 
because it might be more powerful. I know it's just one enemy. Oh wow, only 33. Elegy. Wanna sing me to sleep? No, it didn't do shit. <laughs> Alright. It's probably because of the shit that we have equipped on these guys. Which is... Mario having the wake-up uh, pin. So yeah, he couldn't put Mario to sleep because we have the wake-up pin on. It prevents mute and sleep attacks. And then prevents poison damage. That's why Mallow didn't get poisoned. And we just have to jump shoes just because. Alright. Because we're collecting everything. So yeah, we don't want to jump down there. Shit. I was trying to jump on the pipe. To see where it leads us. Probably some secrets. That's what I wanted to know. Still want to explode. So that... Was it this pipe? I think it was this pipe. Yeah. Yeah, we just do that from there. What was I thinking? Poison! Yeah, you can poison Mario. But not Mallow. So, matter of fact, go ahead and get rid of him. Then we'll just Thunderbolt. Because I want the experience. I don't want them to run away. That's good enough. They have at least 40 health. From what we've seen. 4 XP. Alright, so that, this takes us to where we need to go. Actually. So that button will take out the water. So let's do that. The water has been drained. And we finally get to fight a boo. Oh my god, what is this? Shadow. Uh, let's see if that works on Shadow. Jump? Nope. He's immune to magic. So let's use Thunderbolt, because, you know, magic. Okay, well, it kind of did him some good. But they're either immune or it doesn't really affect them that much. So I think that... I think he's afraid. I think that's what that element is. Yeah, we blocked. So let's just go ahead and pound him with a fucking hammer. Pound a shadow with a hammer. Cause that guy's funky. I, I don't want to do shit to me. Or Mallow. Ouch. So yeah, we're, we're definitely fighting a hell of a lot more enemies at this point. So they're definitely racking up the difficulty. In some cases, damn, three lightning orbs in a row. How annoying. <laughs> Alright. The big boo. He's the big boo, that one. Oh, I thought I had a once again, that would have been cool. So yeah, they're called the big boo. I missed, because he's faster than me. Because I think being scared also depletes our speed. And we block both. That's why they did the lightning orbs, because they, they know, oh my god, are you serious? Finally. Missed twice. Thunderbolt. Or lightning bolt. Let's do thunderbolt on them. Honestly, at this fucking point, might as well do it again. Should have hit the other guy, because he was more powerful. Mario. I want to just use a mushroom instead. Because we're also low on magic. There we go. Mario! So we're killing booze now is with a hammer. We don't have to jump on them. Or look away. We got pure water from that. So what this does, if you ever see this, it X's you out. And that's kind of what you don't want to do. This water will always stay, because there's no other way to get over here, but the main water, as you can see by this fish flopping around, both of these, all of these, yeah, they're, they're in the air now. Should, I should have jumped on them, because he's in the air. Gobi! Oh, you missed. 
You fish, bitch. No. All right. So he's done for. Get away! Oh my god! You know what? We'll run away this time. First time we're gonna show that off. Cause we're not gonna fight every single fight. So uh, yeah, they're harder to avoid for sure. That's how we're gonna get down there to that pipe that we need to get to. However, there's other explorations to go, which is this pipe. And oh, treasure. Oh my god, what was that? We're fighting mid-boss time. I would call it that. I'm gonna jump on him. 129. So his name is Pandorite. Pandorite. Pandorite? All right. <laughs> He's gonna bring his flame on us. So this guy's kind of difficult in the beginning run. I mean, 10 damage, that's that's a lot nowadays, I'd say. So since Mario is power, more powerful than Mallow, I'm gonna use Mallow. Get our FP back up. Got a freebie because I timed it. Oh, scream. You can still make Mario afraid, and that's gonna... Uh, yeah, that's gonna, like, cut our attacks in half. Uh, but we got Able Juice. Get rid of that shit. Flame Wall. Oh my god. Can't escape that. But yeah, definitely want Mario at his best. 132, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. So, 10 experience points, got a flower jar out of it, and 30 coins. Definitely something to loot. And we got a true form pin. A new pin that we can equip. So, let's see if we want to. I think we do. So, what true form does is you won't be turned into mushrooms or scarecrows, which is definitely useful even later on in the game. So, mute and sleep. Poison damage. I think Mallow would be okay. And Mario would be okay to transform into a Scarecrow, just a Mushroom would suck. So I'm just going to do that for Mallow as a backup. And we can use the Antidote pen later if we ever need to. Poison helped us out somewhat. So if that means we can't... I don't think... Oh, we can. Look at that. So yeah, this is the pipe. This is the other pipe. This is one right here. Yeah, that took us here down here instead of taking that pipe so let's go we're going this way to explore there's some fancy stuff you can do with boo as well while considering running away got a flower so that means it upped our flower flowers right there but using a flower tab or anything will replenish and give us an extra. So, I'm gonna do that now since we're low. Oh my god. Oh, shush. Damn rats. They're they're pretty fast. And they yeah, that's why they run away sometimes. So... Mm, yeah, we're just gonna keep powering up the jump. I was gonna use my fire orb, but... Yeah, why, why do that when I just jump and it's over? Just to see the effects. Oh man. And you missed. I was gonna say, if you hit Mallow, that would've been funny, because I just took off the poison. The poison pin. Antidote pin. To prevent poison. Right, let's see if we can avoid the rest of these. That thing's back. Oh, I didn't notice that. Okay, so yeah, if you just leave the screen and come back, it turns into coins. I'm glad you can jump back up here, though, because imagine going all the way back. Ugh, again. As long as we fight each fight at least once, I'd be okay and happy with that. Alright, so this is the fun part. Now we're up here. You know, there's these guys. Don't want to fall, because, you know, down there, we have to take that pipe just to get up here. So what we'll do is we'll take this star and hit as much of these as we can. There we go. I just wanted to hit him. I, I just felt like that would have been more swag. So Mario reaches level 6. Yay. 
And then now Mario has learned the most OP ability in the game, the super jump, which we're going to have to fucking master to get the top tier item in the game. So yeah, we want attack up to be exactly 40 and our defense exactly at 15. That sounds pretty good. Mallow should be very close to leveling up. We can check. Uh, status. Mallow. Next level at 5 more XP. And Mario will level up in the next 86. So there you go. Nice to know. So then this will just take us over this way with all these rats that I wanted to jump over and avoid. As he's trying to avoid me too. So honestly, we'll just run away from that. And go down this pipe. And that just takes us right here. So I mean, remember all this crap? Sort of. As I tried to avoid him. Yeah, I kind of want to see more of this guy again, actually. Matter of fact, let's show off the super jump with this guy. I and mean, it's going to be harder because he's moving up and down. So he's fluctuating his height. So, timing it. So the first initial jump does not count towards any of your jumps. The first one is just the first one. After that, you have to time the Y button consecutively. And you go up to 100 jumps total. That's your max cap. So let's see what we can do. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Of course, none of them did anything, but yeah, we gotta master that. We gotta get a hundred jumps by the end of this game, or at least up to a, the point of the game where we'll get the items, which will be Monstro Town. As we see more monsters, like these guys, these little creatures. And they're not all little, but hey, something to look forward to. Alright, and then there's that pipe down there. We already explored everything here. We want this pipe right here, I do believe. Yeah, and it takes us here. We've already done all this. This is the dead end. We want to go back now. Down this way. Since we emptied the water, there's the pipe we need. Mushroom to refill our health and everything else. Go ahead, save it right here. Level 6, with Mario at least. So, and then there's stuff up here that we'll have to come back through later in the game. However, we get a boo over here. We can fight him. Run away. Of course, it won't let us. And, and we have a small amount of chance to jump on his head. If we fight him again, that's fine. We'll just run away again. He should still be stunned, flashing. And we and we can use Boo to pretty much get our way up there to the pipe. So I definitely want to show that off, because I think that's cool. So we go ahead and see what's in here, which is top secret. This is a dead end, so it's best to turn back now. And you, we don't want to fight this guy. We really don't. But it gives us another mushroom, which we probably should have saved for later. But I'll go ahead and show this off now. Fight this guy. These guys are way above our league. I tried coming back here later to see what we can do, but it's completely a dead end. There's no way out. 63 damage. Caution, confused monster. He hit his own teammate. That's our only chance to win. Also by super jumping. Let's try it. It's more of a rhythm than a look. At least for me. We did 63 as well. Everyone did 63 damage, it seemed like. Poison, Willy Wisp, that's going to end it. Game over. So you can win this fight. Game over. Starts us back here. And then we could have got that treasure chest and that in there too. But we're going to save those for later. We're not going to cheat our way there. This is the end of Kiro Sewers, right here. And this... Hmm. That guy looks funky. And that just takes us back out. Let's avoid that boo, please. The, the, this must be... Balloon! Is that a fire hose or his tongue? Oh, mo-ho-ho! -ho. Ack! 
It's a snack attack. And you're it. Oh, we're playing tag now. All right. So this is our boss in Pure Sewers. Balloon. Hello, Balloon. We could probably end him now with the super jump. But that would be fun. Ooh, room service has been kind to me. Where's my bib? Blech. At least we blocked it. So I'll just use each attack at least once on him. See what we can do. 60. Thunderbolt. Do it. It's definitely better than unarmed attack. 47. Uh, fire orb. Eat fire, you bitch. It's spicy. Take it. Yeah, I only did 40. That doesn't do much. I'll definitely be doing Thunderbolt with Mallow as much as I can. Which is every damn turn. Stick for a body. Head full of straw. Give me a scarecrow. Raw, raw, raw. Scarecrow funk. So yeah, that's why it's okay. Because the only thing that turning Mario into a scarecrow does is we can't attack and we can't use our items. We can defense or we can use our special. So let's go ahead and super jump on this asshole. Eleven. Oh, sh that's our new record. But yeah, that's why I just put on Mallow. Well, actually, even doing it for Mallow, it doesn't really matter. Can't stand it. The hunger. The hunger. Oh my god, he ate Mallow because he's a marshmallow. He looks like a marshmallow. Oh no. We fucked ourselves. Okay, that's why I had Mallow, because at least he would be able to use items. So we're just gonna have to wait. Okay, well at least up to that point until it's over. Now we can at least attack. I need Mallow back. Actually, no, you know what? What am I doing? We don't need him back now. Only if Mario was a Scarecrow still. So, we'll just super jump, because it's the most effective right now. At least consistently, because, you know, that was scary. If you defeat me, you still won't beat me. Beware the flood. Oh, we beat him. Oh, it's over. Beware the flood. What, do you, what, what is he talking about? It's because we're in the sewers. So that should mallow, that should mallow up level right here. <laughs> should, should level up mallow. <laughs> so now mallow learns psychopath. And with that, it's pretty much if you're feeling... Well, most of you should be familiar with Paper Mario, which is technically Super Mario RPG 2. Your first... Buddy is Goombario, and he uses his little tattletale ability to like learn the enemies. That's pretty much what this is. We get to know their HP and their thoughts. I kind of have a list of that written down already, but I still want to show it off on the recording. So yeah, I definitely want to go with attack. It's usually the same, as I mentioned before. We'll get more of a bonus that way. And the cops are coming. Cause, or at least the ambulance, because Belome has been defeated. Balone must have been lying when he said water would come gushing out of here. Er, alright. Did you hear something? Or is it just me? Water! Water! Here it comes. Quick, Mario, hit the button before we're washed away. We uh, oh, we got it. We're getting flooded. Oh dear. Here we are. And there's Toad, and we're small as shit. This is the Midas River course. Want a crash course on it? Yeah, sure, teach me. You'll start off first at the falls. Use the control pad to move left or right and score coins. Push B to make a little headway against the flow. You can't go up all the way, but just a little bit to the point where you can adjust where you're going. Along the way, there are a few traps. As to what will happen, we'll just keep that a surprise. And I don't know if that's the last quote, but I have notes here written down from a long time ago when I first played this. Well, I wouldn't say first played this, but technically my second full play playthrough of it. But it says, skip the first cave opening and take the one on the first left. Uh, after leaving that room as it shoots you out, take the first cave hole on the right. These two locations give you a flower. So we want that. Now off you go. All right, here we go. And we can't pause it or anything, so. I'm going to try to get as many coins as I can. So skip the first cave hole and go to the first one on the left. So skip this one. 
I'm gonna go t to the left. I wanna get this coin though. Oh, you suck. Alright. So we want all the cutscenes. We wanna go through all the entrances. That gives us a flower. So here we go. Phase number one. As you guys watch this, there's the flower. So after leaving this room, as it shoots you out, take the first cave hole on the right. First one on the right. Give it to me. That that bandit's really trying his best to fight for it. Oh, he finally got it. Koopa Troopa. He's saving it. Oh, he finally got it and then he knocked it off so we can get it. Hell yeah. Thank you, Koops. Alright. It shoots us out right here. Boing. We're back. Trying to get all those frog coins as well. So first one on the right. And this is pretty much what you want to do. So yeah, we're going right side. Not even going to swim up. We'll take this one. There's the other. That's the more easier one to get. More easy grab. And then Bandit's really getting fucked. I think we take those coins too. I'm not entirely sure, but... should definitely check up on that. So that's the way you want to do that section if you want the flowers. Now I'm just going to get as many coins as I'm, I'm trying to get. Just because. So now for the barrel jumping event. Need some pointers? Sure, why not? Time your jumps and grab coins along the way. Alright. Jump onto the next barrel before they collide. See, I love how they mix the RPG theme of this game, but also make it Mario as in like all the platforming breaks you get. Miss it and you'll change course. Well, it looks like you're ready, so I'll send you on your way. Okay. Almost forgot to tell you, leap over the fish that pop up or you'll lose coins. So I've done this quite a bit, as you can see. That's what happens, I was just trying to show that off. Uh, yeah, see I meant to do that because there's four coins on this side. Now I think I want to switch lanes. Well, if I can get the jumps right, so that's one. Two, I think it's every three. So this is the third one. So now we want to switch lanes on the other side because then there will be four. Three, four, yep. Oh my god, fishy. Taking my coins. That's hard to do though. To like time back the jump as you switch over. I was really hitting the button then. Oh my god, fishy. So that's how I remember how getting the most coins out of this. Alright, no more fishy. I'll take it. That was fun. Wasn't that fun? Yeah, I just said so. <laughs> you got 52 coins. Trade the coins you got from Midas River for fraud coins. As a first time only bonus, I'll give you one fraud coin for 60 of your coins. If you didn't know, frog coins are the green ones, and Tadpole Pond's got more info on them, which is what we're heading to right now. You got 52 coins. That's not enough to cash in, so I'll hold on, hold them for you, okay? Come back and try again. So he'll hold the 52. If we go through the course again and get 8, then we'll get a frog coin. Here's something I picked up. You can keep it for good luck. We would have had it if the fish wasn't fucking me over. We received a knock-knock shell. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the hammer, because this is our new attack ability that we're going to have with Mario. Which ups the attack by 10. So, I'd be a fool not to equip that. Sorry, Hammer. It was fun while it lasted. Can can Mallow use it? Come on, let Mallow use it. He needs his own shit, I guess. So, we'll go ahead and save it here now. Mm. Yeah, we'll go ahead and save it there. Just making sure. So, you can try your luck again if you get on the trampoline. It'll cost only, it'll only cost 30 coins. The high score is 52 coins. Don't forget, I'm holding your 52 extra coins. Give it another shot? Nah, we're good. Alright, maybe next time. You can try your luck again, blah, 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 blah. So yeah, we can't, you can't really use that. It costs 30 coins just to try it again. Or you can go through the entire Kuro series again and do it that way. But now that we made it through there, we have made it to Tadpole Pond. 
All right. Exciting stuff right here. Mallow's hometown. We'll just stand right here. Oh, and there's a tadpole. Look at him. Hi, can I help you? Mallow, it's you. We've heard all about your adventures with Super Mario. Already? You guys beat up Balloon, right? How'd you already know? That just happened. You know about that? See, Mario, the waterways of the world bring news to us here. That's why Grandpa knows all the news that's fit to hear. Yet it all flows through the water and it all connects us. Are you really THE Super Mario? Hey everybody, you'll never guess who's here. Oh, what, what, what? Who is it? Who is it? He's the real thing, but he doesn't look anything like I thought he would. They do say he can jump better than a froggy. I wonder if that's... or it's only a rumor. They're looking at me. You ready? Three, two, one, jump! Look at me, look at me, look at me. I have to be Mario. Frog Fuchsius. Well, Grasshopper, what's new? Well, shit, let's get the fuck out of here. Grandpa, Mario's been helping me. I know, child. <laughs> that rainstorm we just had, that was you, wasn't it? Ouch. Watch it up there. You're supposed to make me look like I'm floating here, okay? What? What's going on? Welcome! So you are Mario, yes? I am Frogfucius. And there's a Lakitu making him float with a string. Lakitu is always there to help us. You have come to seek wisdom from me, have you not? I've been waiting for you. Yes, old wise people can often give good advice. At least it seems like Lakitu always helps us out now. Yeah, he's making him hit the water. But how rude of me. Let's get more comfortable. Come along and we'll talk. Clear. Full reverse. <laughs> Tadpoles, don't just float there. Make yourselves useful. Form a bridge for Mario. Yes, please. Thank you. So, w once we stand on this, these guys will appear and we get to jump on them. And head over our way to Frog Fuchsius, Mallow's supposed grandpa, telling us all the news we need to hear. So here we go. Yes, come into my sanctuary and partake of my wisdom, children. We are here. Let's see. That smithy character that appeared at Bowser's Keep, he is quite formidable, yes. And Mario, you wish to rescue the princess quickly, do you not? But oh, if only you knew the truth. Toadstool is no longer there. What? Where'd she go? Patience, young one. <laughs> Let me explain. Here's what happened. Alright. Here we go. Story time. You were rescuing Toadstool from Bowser's Keep. After defeating him, and just when you were about to free the princess, you heard a loud crash and saw a huge sword split the sky. Urgh. Yes. And I seen. I went back to the castle and seen it. Whoosh! Out of the blue. The shock sent the three of you flying. Bowser and Toadstool are still lost somewhere out there. Now... You're worried about the princess, but first you need to take care of Smitty. His underlings are wrecking havoc, or are wreaking havoc in our world, as we were told in the last episode. Mac, whom you defeated at Mushroom Kingdom, was one of them. More will be coming. And we got a star out of it, too, so what does that mean? Grandpa almost forgot to tell you something. We found a star in the castle at, at Mushroom Kingdom. Do you know why it was there? A star, eh? most interesting. This may sound illogical, but I believe shooting stars can grant wishes, and now more than ever I believe they will play a vital role in the fight against Smithy, giving us the power of hope. Was that too much to absorb? Would you like a recap? No, we know the story. It's quite a situation we have on our hands, isn't it? We really don't have to repeat that. <laughs> but yes, yes it is. Wow, everything sounds so dire and serious. I guess Mac was only the first of many, Mario. Some of them, uh, some of them will make Bowser seem nice. <laughs> That's kind of, kind of sounded weird for a second. Mallow, you speak as if these things do not concern you. You will accompany Mario on his adventure, too. What? Grandpa, what are you talking about? We can't just use Mallow and not use him anymore in the game since he was already a playable character. That would make no sense. <laughs> I'm only a simple tadpole. This adventure isn't for me. Here we go. 
Here we go, guys. Ready for this? Are you ready for this? Mallow, my boy, I kept this from you until now. But you're... Not a tadpole. What the fuck? Say what? <laughs> I was sitting here on one rainy day, enjoying a snack of crickets, when I happened to see a basket floating down from the falls. I peeked inside and saw a little baby staring right back at me. The name Mallow was written on his belt. I felt sorry for the little bundle of puff and took him in to raise as my own grandchild. He had powerful magic, and I knew he was more than a piece of fluff. I thought, surely this child must be from some far off land. Grandpa, you mean I'm not a tadpole? <laughs> sniffle, sniffle, sniffle. Don't, don't do that again. Thank you for stopping it. Mallow, now's not the time to cry. Go with Mario on his adventure and find your real family. Your real mother and father are out there somewhere. Psst, Mario. The boy's magic is sure to come in handy on your adventure. You'll take him along, yes? Yes, of course. I helped him out and he's gonna help me out now. We got him to this point. Grandpa, I won't cry anymore. I'll go on this adventure with Mario and find my real family. The Naruto way. Then it is settled. You must embark on your adventure immediately. First go to Rose Town, where they need your help. As they're wreaking havoc already there. Are you gonna be okay? I will be quiet around here with Mallow gone. Or it will be quiet. I'll be quiet actually, I won't say shit. No, sh maybe a snack will cheer me up. Oh shit, happy music again, that's right! I had forgotten all about it. So have I. I don't know if you guys have either. But the main reason we went to Mushroom Kingdom and came back here with Mallow is because Fryfuchus will give us something for the cricket pie we bought back. Oh, I know. You shall have the staff I used when I was Mallow's age. Now we finally have Mallow's equipment for attacking. The froggy stick will come in handy. Do not forget to equip it. Yes, please. Let's do that now, actually. Before we do forget. So instead of the hammer... Mallow shall use the froggy stick. And I will probably put the antidote pin back on Mallow, it depends. Well, it takes his defense down by two. Defense and magic defense, so I don't know, we'll, we'll keep it on him actually. His true form, not a frog, but obviously he is a cloud since he is a fluff, a little fluff guy. So. As you can tell, when he was crying, it started raining. So go to Rose Town now, Mallow. Luck be with you. All right, let's go. Let's embark on our adventure for real this time. As this has been the entire introduction and prologue of the story, I'd like to say this is where the game truly begins. Before we do, let's go look around and stuff. Let's learn about the frog coins a little bit more. Welcome to the Frog Coin Emporium. You're a first timer, aren't you? Listen up, the green coins you find periodically are frog coins. Accumulate them and you can buy items at Tadpole Pond. So let's see what we got. We got three frog coins. Sleepy Bomb puts enemies to sleep. Bracer raises allies defense in ba uh, battle. Energizer raises allies battle power during battle. Jesus Christ, that's a mouthful for a second. Crystalline uh, raises parties defense in battle. And Power Blast raises party's attack power and battle, which is all cool stuff. But I'm saving my frog coins for later items, later uses. What do you got? Welcome to the juice bar. Are you a card member? Even Tod Todovsky has a member membership here. Who the fuck is that? So, you're limited to this menu if you don't have a current membership card. We get a froggy drink, that's all we get. Which, uh, party recovers 30 HP. So honestly, that is pretty damn good. We only get one though. Can we sell? So if it's party, here, here's the thing. Froggy drink, party recovers 30 HP. That's definitely gonna be better than mushrooms. So we might as well sell the rest of our mushrooms. We already used the ones that we needed as backups. Everything else should be good. Uh, pure water defeats ghosts in a wink. We could have used that. Uh, I'll keep, I'll sell one, 
and it will keep one to show off for later. So we get pure water to defeat by defeating booze, and then we can use it to immediately defeat them, but I don't think you get experience points from it. Uh, everything else seems pretty good though, so let's go ahead and buy as much of these as we can. Uh, we'll just have 8 and have 200 left without going too much over, because we'll also... Oh, that that's actually it. That's all we can really carry on this. Um, I wanted to leave some room left, though, just in case we get more items. So I will just go ahead and use our flower tabs, just because. And I'll save the flower jar for later. Flower jar increases by 3. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and use it now, so we'll, we'll be at 30. I know it's best to use it for when we're low and it replenishes all of that as well, but... Oh, well. So let's go this way. There's more to this. I've got this dream of becoming a composer. I want to be as famous as to Todovsky. Gotta say that name twice. My favorite song is Frogfuchs' Suite Number 18, Sol La Mi Re Do Re Do Re. Todovsky's fond of it too. So what we want to do, I wrote down a note of how to get that, but pretty much Todovsky will tell us as we'll meet her pretty damn soon, like right now. So this is our first song that we can compose with her. So la mi, re do, re do, re. So we'll go ahead and come this way. He helps us out. Melody Bay. Play notes by jumping on the tadpoles. Let's hear your melody. Let's go ahead and use it. I'm not really creating what they want. I'm just gonna do this. I guess I could have explained it right here, right now, but she'll explain it to us. So if they sink in the water, that means it's the wrong note that she's looking for. Is that something you composed? That sort of resembles the melody I'm thinking of, since we had three of them. Let's go ahead and talk to her. I am the composer, Todovsky. I am trying to create my next masterpiece, but I've got composer's block. Do you want a music lesson from Moy? Yes, please. Let's start by reading notes. See the five lines? Between the second and third lines from the top lies Do. Keep going up, and the notes are Do, Re, Mi. Go down, and you'll get Do... La so fa. So do re mi, and then do ti la blah blah blah. I already have it written down though. So you're on your way to composing. Yay! We learned everything we needed to know. So the first song I have it written down. I remembered it. So what we want. Ugh. I don't know where to put this piece of paper. I don't want to fuck up the game. But okay, it's right in front of me now. So we're looking for so. So is going to be right here. So la will be the space right there. And then me is going to be the first one. And then la is going to be the line right here. Uh, so, uh, me, we just did Ray, actually. Do is going to be this space right there. Then Ray, once again, it's going to be right there. And Do, once again, it's going to be the space. And then Ray which goes back and forth, so it's like right there. So here we go. So, la, mi, re, do, re, do, re. Got it. Oh my god, you're so happy. That's it. Oh yeah, this is the melody I've been looking for. Thank you for the inspiration. Please take this as a token of my gratitude. Received an alto card. Hell yeah. If I ever need help with my compositions again, I'll look for you here. Until then, I do. Oh, <laughs> just hitting the high notes. So yeah, that's it. So 
Yeah, uh... So it goes... The space is me... Ray... Oh my god. Me, Ray, Do, T, La, So, Fa. So... Just to reiterate... That's me. That's Ray. That's Do. This is T. This is Law. This is So. And then the last one is Fa. Well, if I can jump. Some, it, it, it's kind of finicky as well. And we'll just do that. Oh yeah. So there's a total of three songs you gotta compose throughout the entire game. And I'll let you know when we gotta do that again. So let's go ahead and save it. As we have the Alto card now. Now we can take that back over here and get more special items from the tadpole. But let's see what he has to say now. Can't wait to graduate from music school and start composing. Oh yeah, thanks. thank you for the hint. For telling us the music that we had to do. I do. Alright, so... Talk, please. Welcome to the Frog Emporium. Frog Coin. Okay, it, I don't think it's that guy. That's just the Frog Coins. You, you're the guy. May I help you? Ah, an Alto card holder. What would you like? So now they add a little bit more to it. We can now buy Elixirs, which party recovers 80 HP. We could have saved it for that, but we'll settle for the Frog new drink for now. Because we really don't need that much just yet. So yeah, now we are all set and ready to go and head out to our adventure, as next time we shall begin it in Roseway, making our way down in this path that we take. So until then, guys, I'll see you then for episode 5. Have a good day.